Welcome to the Gardens of Issa, home of the Summer Court and the warm heart of the Fey Lands. It is a rare occasion for us to welcome a child of dust into Issa, but it is equally rare that Niralem chooses a champion. Pleased to meet you. I am Chancellor to the High King. Hello. Welcome. Don't trust the silence. What is it? High King Tatarian is waiting for you. Please place the project. Conceived in chaos, birthed in stolen magic, torn from fate, child of two fathers, treacheries in treacheries, winter is King upon his throne, drinking flattery and lies. The power that grows in him is not his own. In the East it did begin, as it will end. From behind the veil she screams. Madness and rage. Madness and rage. We realize this may be confusing for you. Fate, like the Fey, cannot be changed. But the Tuatha are Fey who have become something new. And you are a mortal who is free from fate's weave. Gadflo claims that the Tuatha are the work of his new god. If the Tuatha are the creations of a god, what does that make you? The power of a god in the brash hands of a mortal. This age has seen much change. We were wrong. 
That is how I understand it now. You are intertwined with the power in Alabastra. We do not know what will happen when you travel there, but we know that the power behind Gadflow is your ultimate goal. His God holds your answer, and the fate of this world. Perhaps. Although you may choose your path now, you did not choose the ability to do so. We have seen those who were destined to be heroes, for whom great deeds came naturally. You do things, great or terrible things, not because you must, but because you choose to. Admirable. But strength of will cannot see you through this alone. You may be unbound by fate, but you are not free from death. Speak with your allies. Only with their aid can you hope to overcome the forces that stand against you. Who would have thought you were so interesting? Agarth's looking for escape. Neuralim's looking for a savior. And Tatarian is looking for a champion. And somehow, you're giving everyone what they want. I'm impressed. You're right. This won't be easy. You'll need more help than just me and that old fate weaver. You'll need an army. A few years ago, one warrior could have slipped past unnoticed, but stealth is no longer an option, not even for me. But there is hope. In the plains of Erethel, there waits a player who has been away from this game for far too long. It is time to contact General Talera. Meet me in the village of Emer, and I will tell you everything. Be on your way. I couldn't make out half of what the king was saying, but it sounds like you've got your work cut out for you. Good thing you won't be facing it alone. In fact, I think I've... Old Felmerus Hughes, of course. I've been asking around and I was able to make contact with his superior. He thinks he might be able to help fight. No, he's a crafty one. If he got away from those assassins in the lab, like you said, I'm sure he found some place new to hide out. And if anyone's likely to know where he'd go to find safe haven, it'd be the Templar who sponsored his work. Go southeast to the Hollowlands. Templar... Excellent. Another... Oh, a mortal. Right, you, Dossling. How would you like to make some of your shiny, bright metal? What's it called? Farewell. Welcome to the Issa Chapter House of the Scolia Arcana. How may I be of assistance? We are an order of magic practitioners dedicated to the fostering of knowledge regarding all things mystical and arcane. 
While the heart of our power lies in Rathir, we keep an embassy here in Issa to maintain strong relations with the Fae. Traditionally, our applicants undergo years of preparation, but we understand your circumstances are somewhat irregular. If it is your wish to join our order, you must first complete the trial of initiation. Then first I shall present you with this. It is the story of the Order's founding and a good primer for all who wish to join our ranks. Now I shall summon the circle of mages necessary to perform the ritual. Savant Engar will lead the trial. Speak to him in the Delving Hall when you're ready to begin. Farewell. Greetings, greetings. I will be the savant presiding over your trial of initiation. Traditionally, applicants have prepared for the challenges of this trial through years of study and training. But as Augra mentioned, we realize you are unique. Do you have any questions before we begin? This is a fluid magic. The goal is a simple one. Survive. And be aware that I am watching Good luck. Don't pay any attention to my ramblings, Initiate. Those fair Gorta look like they're out for blood. By the Founders, what is that? A synergistic construct of all kinds of elements? With a sage crafted crystal substructure? I do hope you survive the We must have The first phase of the trial is complete. Proceed f Another cave. How interesting. Ah, a waterfall. That's
terribly wrong. Ahead, I sense another's presence in the trial. this place. I am the Dark Empyrean, and I will not be bound. But I could kill you now. But I have plans for those who watch from the shadows. Now be gone. <laughs> Sustaining the magic of the trial, and then an arc of energy, the likes of which I have never seen, burst from you. Three mages lay dead, and two have fled screaming. I know the trial is not meant to be shared, but what in Lyria's name happened? A woman? Masked in shadow? For now, we have dead to bury, and missing mages to find. In the name of the Scolia Arcana, I hereby confer unto you the title of Neophyte. Welcome to the... I am sending you to the ruin of Aeod, to the south. After your initiation trial, the magic in Aeod shifted. I believe this magic is tied to you, Initiate. Followers of Rekor dwell within. As for what may be causing the recent swelling in power emanating from the ruin, your guess is as good as mine. Lyria be with you. Greetings to you. <laughs> Greetings. I have some ability with the art of sage crafting. Do you wish for some instruction? <sighs> Return when you wish to learn more.
you would come. After all, I owe you so much. There was a time when kings begged me to read their fortunes. Shall I read yours? I have so many names, but I am not, hmm, interesting. It appears as though you have no future. I've crafted what I need, and I'm done with this woman's body. Hmm. Right now, she's trying to tell you to kill me.
yes, welcome. It was Nuwala Ignis who stirred the magics of Aeod. At least now we may restore the balance of the ruin before the rest. What is this? You caught her crafting this, you say? Remarkable. Just utterly remarkable. That might explain her behavior. Not to mention whatever this is. You have done well. I have another assignment for you when you are ready. Adept Fell recently began investigating some disappearances in Melaglia. I want you to go to Melaglia in the plains of Erethel. Do not keep your contact waiting. And when you sort... Hmm? Oh! Wiser than those other fools in the House of Ballads. It is their inability to see beyond themselves that has brought them to this end. This is my realm, and the Wall of Thorns awaits. As it is in the telling, so it will be for you. Tell me, beloved, are your tales worth a minstrel's <laughs> breath? Look who it is, Kreth. Hallam the White has sent his right hand to tear at Our Lady's good name. You are interrupting a duel for the ages. There can only be one Windermere champion, and it shall be me. Need our armor? Is this a jest? You will never impress the maid. Perhaps you can help us choose the Grell. Kreth and I were just fighting over who should be the maid's true champion. Unless you believe yourself worthy of such an honor, then by all means challenge one of us to a duel. The prize, your sought-after armor. What? Where's the court? How have I come to be here? Why does it feel as though I've just woken from a waking dream? You mentioned something about armor. Please take these robes if you must. Stop!
with every head you lay before me. Well done. You rival even Sir Elswin in your foolish arrogance. You may have passed the Wall of Thorns, but the Weeping Gorge proposes its own unique challenges. He was captain of the Royal Windermere Guard, and my staunchest offender. His body lies below where it fell. I mourn him in my own way. It is what prevents my enemies from simply marching into my kingdom and feeding it to the flame. To raise the bridge, one must defeat its guardian, the legendary Sir Elswin. Alas, Sir Elswin has been killed, as goes the story. This time I fear he's staying quite dead. <laughs> 